everybody. I am going to pour over this painting that has been poured on before. Um, and then I just tossed some white paint on top so that hopefully it wouldn't bleed through because I've had that problem a couple times lately. And this has, um, uh, this was painted quite a while ago. So the, it should, it shouldn't bleed. It should be pretty well cured. Um, so I was thinking back to like my beginning paintings with not a lot of color. Um, and I'm going, I'm going to use these. I, I've, I've been sitting here forever trying to decide what colors to use and I'm still not absolutely sure. And as I'm talking to you, I believe I'm going to mix ultramarine with, um, Payne's gray. So I'm going to try not to use a lot of color, but in the video before I did kind of a fold over thing, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, so I was thinking about doing a line of color. So I'm keeping the color on one side of the painting. Okay, this lid is totally trashed. This is Artist Loft Ultramarine with um, uh, iridescent medium. Yeah, that lid is toast. And I was going to add silicone to the white that I was gonna put on either side of the color. Um, which, okay, that's a good color. And I was, I'm thinking maybe that I want like loose white cells, sort of. I, I have it in my head. Um, whether I can get it out on here is a totally another story. So I'm going to fill this with white and put silicone in it. And you can watch my paint mixing videos to see the products that I use and my Amazon link, which is in the video description. Um, you can get all these products there. One, two, three. Three? Well, that could be three, that could be five. I'm not really sure. And let's stir that in there. Kind of want this a little thinner. This is all an experiment. Actually, okay. All right, change of plans, sort of. So I'm gonna add the colors. It's my beautiful mystery red. Um, deep yellow. Not sure what brand. Probably Artist Loft. And then this blue, which turned out really pretty. And then I'm going to give it a swirl, swirl. I think I should. Ooh, well, I think 
kind of worked as I thought. So you can see that the silicone is doing its thing. Still not exactly how I have been picturing this. I want more like this. So tilt off this way. So while that's doing its thing, I'm going to put the white on the other side. Ugh, let me get all this dry paint gunk off of here. tilted anymore so I don't want the color going anywhere so I'm gonna have to spatulize it which is probably an anism spatulize the art of using a spatula. I have a friend, local friend, who's been buying my art and she, uh, well, she's been admiring it from afar for a while and finally um, got some small pieces and then she sends me this picture of um, her second floor of her house has she's got this huge hallway um, and all this open wall space and, and she's like hush I need like a you know a giant painting so I'm visualizing this mammoth painting I'm like that would be so much fun if only I could pour vertically. Okay, now I am using the straw to try and help me achieve the look that I am going for. 
So let's hope that it works. So far, yes. I'm glad I added the silicone. Never thought I'd say that. You know what? I think I'm going to cover these lids. Tilting it this way to try and draw out some of the these outlined cells that I like so much. And just the weight of the paint flowing off on my side is doing it. Then I don't like that side. See if we were playing that drinking game like I suggested two videos ago, you'd all have to do a shot now. And if you are a non-drinker, um, then you have to do like a trick, like a, I don't know, somersault, you know, something, something interesting. better. So far this is turning out like it was in my head. Which is such a rarity. Oh gosh, I just spread silicone. I can see the dimples everywhere. That's the problem with silicone. But, um, I will not be putting resin on this, so that eases the problem.
really liking this. See, the silicone leaves divots. Divots all over the place. I mean, they won't be so noticeable when dry. But, I mean, it's one of the main, not one of the main reasons I stopped using it, but it's a really annoying... component of silicone. That pause was because something, a big clotty snotty thing, was stuck in the, um, <laughs> in my paint. I'm like, why is it not coming out? Touching up the side. I know I'm spending an awful lot of time on the sides of this one, but I want it to look just so. So I am loving this, and I'm fingers crossed that good things will happen. So, I mean, I can see it's just divots everywhere from the silicone. Um, but it should dry okay. There may be some places where you can see the... Um, pattern of the texture of the canvas more. Gosh, there's still a lot of paint right here. Interesting shape. I wonder if I can get any of this. It seems to mostly be right in this little area. It's resisting sticking to the canvas. Lovely. Pitfalls of silicone, literally.
And I can see the original color coming through over here. But the amount of color, the amount of paint on this canvas is absolutely perfect. This is how I envisioned it. And it actually worked. Oh wow, I can really see all that pitting. It is so cool. I really like it. There we go. That's a good shot. So thank you so much for watching and sticking with me. And I've had fun on this one. I mean, it's it was really fun to do something different and to be able to accomplish those loose cells, the outline cells that I wanted. Um, and to have the silicone aid me in that because I was trying to think, should I spritz alcohol? Should I? Do? And I'm really pleased. So thanks again and I'll catch you next time. Bye.